Hi, I'm Nikhil Aurora, and this is a full RAS BMC tutorial. Before we go to the computer aspects of things, I'm going to show you what I use to maximize my Raspberry Pi, and maybe you might want to consider buying some of these things. So first, I have my Raspberry Pi Model B. It's inside of a case, but only the bottom half of the case is on, to, so I can show setup and, and such. Next, I have my Noobs SD card, which came with the Pi. It's not really an SD card, it's a micro SD card, and it's just a micro SD card adapter. It came with a Raspberry Pi. This did not come with a Raspberry Pi, this is an Eddy Max wireless USB dongle. I got it off Amazon, it's what allows the Raspberry Pi to access the internet wirelessly. I have the Manhattan USB hub. It allows me to, pl I plug this into one USB port of the Raspberry Pi, and I can then access seven other USB ports. I have the power adapter for the Raspberry Pi itself. This came with the Pi that I bought. A regular phone charger won't work. Um, in order to use your phone charger with the Raspberry Pi, you need to confirm if your phone charger will work on the Raspberry Pi site. The official site. This is the power adapter for the Manhattan USB hub. It, it draws power off of the Raspberry Pi, but just in case I use this as well. Here I have a Dell keyboard and a Dell mouse. I don't have a wireless keyboard, but a wireless keyboard and mouse will work. And that is all in aspects of of what I'm going to of what I have plugged into the Pi. I will leave links for all of them in the description if you choose to buy them. And now let's go to the computer aspects of things. Alright guys, before we can um, download and install RasBMC to an SD card, I'm going to give a quick overview right here of what I'm about to, uh, about what this tutorial is about. Um, so first I'm going to explain what XBMC is. And so you can just skip the video if you don't really want to listen to that. Um, then I'm going to show you how to download and install our, our RasBMC to an SD card. And then I'm going to switch over to the TV and set up RasBMC. And then we're going to switch back to the computer and I'm going to show you how to share folders from the computer to the Raspberry Pi. And then I'm just going to show you tips and tricks like controlling the Raspberry Pi with your phone, Google Chrome extensions, and things like that. Alright, so first thing on in this tutorial is to explain what XBMC is. XBMC is Xbox Media Center. It's um it was for the X first Xbox, not for the Xbox 360. You can share it to the Xbox 360, but it was developed for the first Xbox. And um it's dispersed like to many things rapidly. It's on the Apple uh TV and people are actually using XBMC to they they're going to like they download it to their home PC and then they will like upgrade like the hard drive and the graphics card and the RAM on their home PC and just use that as a media center instead of cashing out like 500 to 2000 dollars that's ballpark on um, a media center and so whenever the Raspberry Pi came out um, a guy named Sam Nazarko uh, developed RasBMC and he's still developing it like um, and that's how we have XBMC on RasBMC and there's other ways to get XBMC on your Raspberry Pi um, such as Open Elec, but I find Raspberry Pi is the best one. Even though Open Elec is lighter on like on your Pi's processor and uh, RAM input or outtake or whatever, um, I find that Raspberry Pi is more be better developed and has less bugs. It has bugs, and I will explain those bugs. But it has less bugs. Um, and okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to download and install Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> so we're going to go to Chrome or whatever browser you have. We're going to go to RasBMC. I will leave an annotation and a link uh, in the description below. Download. Installing on Windows. Or well, on Mac if you have that. But this is for Windows 7. Um, and then from the link here. If you, if you want to see more comments, you can obviously look up other tutorials on YouTube. Or you could see what people have to say about it. Um, but so we're gonna download it from here. It's gonna show up. It, this is just the zipped file, so I'm gonna install it to my desktop and um, 
hits well it's if you have a cluttered desktop you might just want to make a folder for RasBMC and then I'm just gonna save it in here and now this is just um for people who don't have this I'm gonna show how to download WinRAR um so I have the tab here but I will leave a description annotation so this is how you download WinRAR you go to you choose your language oh and WinRAR is um it like decompresses files or compresses files and like your your computer has that built in but this includes more file types and I found and well, a lot of people find that it's faster so I'm I speak English and I'm from America it's cuz localized so I'm gonna choose either 32 bit or 64 bit so to check that I'm gonna click on start right click on computer properties system type 64 bit operating system X out of that and I would download 64 bit I already have it so I don't need to download it but that's how you would get one or it's just handy to have long term and right now alright X out of Chrome you have it saved right here in the RasBMC folder we're gonna du just double click WinRAR will identify that and now we're gonna extract to extract and replace files desktop make sure you have desktop right here um, and then click on RasBMC like these are all subdivisions of things on your desktop or on your computer so I'm just RasBMC right here okay and then X out that and here's our RasBMC folder which is on our desktop so you can delete the winner zip archive file and now we're gonna click on setup run this is just a warning that tells you you're gonna format whatever device you have plugged into your computer so if you have a hard drive like not internal but external hard drive that you do not want to format and delete everything on make sure you unplug that so now we're gonna hit accept so it doesn't recognize anything because I have the SD card not um, I don't have the SD card in my computer so right now I'm gonna put the SD card in my computer and then just hit the refresh icon right here it recognized it so first I'm just gonna format it because uh, I, I I have played with uh, RAS BMC before and this is the SD card so I'm just gonna restore it. well I need to accept the license agreement and now I'm gonna restore so now everything on there was erased alright so now we're going to hit manually configure networking so if you have an Ethernet cable, you don't really need to do this, but I have a wireless dongle, and this just makes it a lot easier, because then um, it, it, it just does. So manually configure networking. Network type, wireless. Obtain an IP address automatically. Um, that I think it has to do with DHCP license thing, but um, th this is just going to give your Raspberry Pi a, an IP address. You can assign one, but you can also do that within RasBMC itself whenever you set it up. So I'm just going to hit obtain the IP address automatically. SSID is your Wi-Fi's name. So just click on this. I'm going to blank all these out, but I can see my name right here. And I'm just going to type it in exactly as I see it. Double check. And then encryption to check. So that, that that's your wireless network's name. Encryption to check this. I mean, a lot of people know this. To check this, you're gonna go to here. Um, click on this. Right click, or click on the one that you're connected to. Right click, properties, and it's gonna tell you security type WPA2 personal. So I see WA2 right here. Pass key. I'm gonna type in my pass my passcode. To pass key is your um Wi-Fi password. And then save okay so now we are ready to install so I will hit the install button okay so it's just gonna download so remember it's or it's downloading it so that this is basically installing like a reference to the SD card instead of actually putting the software on the SD card there is an option for that on the website but this is just easier that that's why I put in the networking information here so it kind of leads the Raspberry Pi to where to get the boot up information 
So, um, about the SD card I'm using, it's actually from the Noobs. Uh, it, it just installed. The SD, the SD card I'm using is actually from Noobs. Um, which is like the package that they sell with the Raspberry Pi. We're done with this. It's the package that they sell with the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's, um, it includes the Raspberry Pi SD card power supply. And Noobs means new out of box software. And it comes with um, the different OS's that you can put on your Raspberry Pi, such as RasBMC, OpenELIC, uh, Raspbian, which is like which makes it like a Linux-based uh, system. Um, but I decided to format over it because if you if you um, f if you format your Raspberry Pi from Noobs or if you boot up from Noobs, you will you will get more bugs and you won't be able to do as many things because it just doesn't work. I, I've tried it like two or three times, and then I decided to format it, and it works like a lot better. So if you if you are using a news SD card, make sure to format it. Okay, so now before we switch over to the TV, I'm gonna just show you the phone app that we're looking for, which is official XBMC remote. I'm pretty sure it's on um, on the Apple Market, but I'm gonna show you for Android. I and uh, I'm gonna leave a description. So this is just the app. I already have it installed, but uh, I will leave a description. And if you just open this up on your phone or on your computer, you can actually install it to your phone from your computer. But this is the app that we're going to use to control the Raspberry Pi with our phone. And um, now we're going to switch over to the TV and install RasBMC. All right, guys, before we start setting up RasBMC, I'm just going to show you how I have uh, my Raspberry Pi set up. So, uh, here's my uh, USB hub. See, my I have my keyboard and mouse hooked up to that. My wireless dongle. Um, I have my uh, video cable and my sound cable, which hook up to my TV. Uh, I could use HDMI, but this TV is not HDMI. Um, so that's why I'm using a video and a sound cable. I have the Noobs SD card hooked up into the Pi, and then I have my power supply cord all the way here. I'm, I'm going to plug it in, and now we can start setting up our SBMC. Okay. And this is the first boot up. I haven't installed it yet. I mean, I have testing it out, but since we installed RasBMC onto the SD card, I haven't set it up yet. And there we go. All right, starting up. And maybe it's taking a little while because I have the wrong input. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, as you can see on the screen already, I'm not sure if the camera will be able to get this way. It says Dell USB mouse, USB hub, and that was just registering all the devices. And now we're connected to the RasBMC update server because what we put on the SD card was just um, something to direct it to the server, not the actual RasBMC program. Here we go, starting up. Alright, and I'm going to explain a little while it's installing, but I'm pretty sure for the most part I'm going to fast forward through this part, because it's just 20 minutes of installation, who wants to see that? Oh yeah, while it's installing, shout out to my Xbox. Yeah, I'm, in no way am I endorsed by Microsoft. But someday. Okay, last thing before um, I fast forward this, um, after RasBMC installs, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up so it fits on your screen fully and looks nice. I'm going to show you how to set up YouTube. Uh, it's, it's, a it's called a video add-on, which is like an app for the RasBMC. 
and I'm gonna show you how to use your phone to control your Raspberry Pi. So, yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna fast forward through this pot setting up. Alright, now we're going to reboot. It says it's successfully installed. And by the way, if you guys just noticed, I paused right there. My camera stops recording every 10 minutes, I, I think. I've never seen that before. Hopefully it's a one-time thing. Alright. So, now I'm going to show you how to... Well, we're just going to first time set up. Usually there's three stages to the boot up. The R goes here, here, and down here. But sometimes it just gets stuck here, I noticed. Alright, it says setting up ResBMC for first run. See, right here, uh, down where my finger's down here, you got, it, it's, it's saying stuff and I can't see it fully either because ResBMC isn't uh, fitted to my screen. And so that's why I'm going to show you guys how to format it. I think it works automatically if you have HD, but even then, it it's not optimized. It's updating service management, no idea what that is. I mean, we were like a second away because it said booting up for first time or installing for first time startup. And then some, I think it's just updating randomly. Yeah, see, it's downloading a new XBMC build. Alright. Maybe the people who made ResBMC. Or just trying to make my life harder with like editing. Makes sense. Yeah, so it always it always downloads XBMC then extracts it. They update it pretty frequently, like every few months.
Alright, here we go. I think we're booting for real now. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Alright, we're booted up. And uh, now I'm going to set it up. Okay, so it automatically detected my language. It's connecting to the network right there. So I'm just gonna let it start up, I guess, fully. Here we go. Okay, now I get to choose my language, which is English. English. Alright, I'd say we're ready to go. So, let's make it fit on our screen. So to do that, we're going to go to settings, uh, system, video calibration, and now we're just going to, it always starts with the top left hand corner. You see how those arrows are popping out up there, top left hand corner. We want to make them so a thin amount just shows up. There we go. Okay. Now the bottom right. Alright, seems to be good. Subtitle bar, I don't use subtitles, but whatever. Prefer them right there. Adjust their angle so it's just perfectly square. That looks pretty square. I could bust out my ruler and do some Pythagorean theorem. Nah, I'd say it's square. Alright, everything's good. Now I'm gonna hit escape. And escape out, home menu, and there we go. The, uh, it's calibrated to fit my screen. Now I can see everything. So, the next step of the tutorial is setting up the Raspberry Pi with our phone using the official XBMC phone app. So, we're gonna go to Settings, Services. I'm gonna scroll down to Web Server, Allow Control of XBMC via HTTP. And there's a little blue dot right here, which means that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in control of it via HTTP and the port number is 80 so we need to remember the port number is 80 okay so now um, we're gonna escape out of this and we need our IP address so we're gonna go to system system info and right here summary IP address right there 192.168.0.10 so I'm gonna pull out my phone here I'm gonna open XBMC remote app. It's saying no host detected. Hmm. All right, it's saying no host detected. So I'm gonna hit settings. Close. I'm gonna hit the menu button on my phone. Add host. This will probably look different for Apple phones, but Apple phones are uh, iPhones are simpler. Okay. So I'm adding a new host right here. Name of this instance. I don't need to know that. Host or IP address. We know the host, or we know the IP address, it's right here on screen. 192.168.0.10 And HTTP API port, it's 80. And OK. Back, and now I see all of these options, listen to music, watch movies, and such. But I'm going to go to remote control, and here we go. I have a remote control for my Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna hit back and see it's being controlled. Little message detected new connection, Android XBMC remote. Scroll around. And now, now that we have our phone set up, as you guys can see here, we are going to uh, set up YouTube. Just simple add on. Okay. So, and personally, I prefer keyboard. Oh, keyboard over anything, really. Um. So here we go, we're going to go to videos, and we're installing YouTube right now, videos, add-ons. First run help. Alright, get more. Alright, it's just so many video add-ons, but all I want is YouTube. Install. Alright, we're, we're installing YouTube right now. Right here, it says downloading. 
Hmm. Alright, should have zoomed in earlier. Downloading. And in the once it like reaches like 90% downloading, it's gonna install plugin cache. And then it's also gonna enable uh, the YouTube add-on. And then it can finish downloading. Alright, still downloading. YouTube add-on enabled. There we go, now everything is just finishing up. It's working in the corner. Alright, there we go. YouTube is installed. Alright, so let's back out and let's watch a YouTube video. Alright, escape. Escape. Alright, I'm just showing you. This is the home page, by the way, and I'm going to show you how to get to YouTube. You go to videos, add ons like how we just did. And in video add ons, YouTube, here we go. on YouTube it's loading up and see it was loading up and it's gonna work the first two times but it gets buggy after that because um, sometimes YouTube just needs to update or not YouTube as BMC and whenever as BMC out need needs an update you can't use YouTube it's gonna give you some type of error and you're gonna think something is wrong with your Raspberry Pi but really you just need to restart your Pi and then the update will automatically install. Or, the second problem is that YouTube is having network errors, like it's not connecting to your network. So that just means restart your Pi, or just wait a few minutes so it can fully connect to your network. Alright, but here we go. YouTube has opened up. Um, I'm not going to put in my username or password. Uh, max video quality, I don't need it to be 1080, because first off, this is an HD TV, and second off, you only need 1080p video quality if your TV is bigger than 60 inches. Other than that, you can go with 720. The, the video is going to load faster. Okay, so we're just going to go down and hit OK. And, and our YouTube has opened up. I'm just going to put on a video, search, already. So my YouTuber friend, Xblade, makes Minecraft videos, and we're going to search up one of his. So here we go. I typed in Xblade Minecraft. And we're going to hit done and it's going to search. And by the way, he makes Minecraft tutorials for PC. He doesn't play the or he plays the game, but he doesn't upload himself playing the game. Cuz how original is that? All right, here we go. They've loaded up. And these are his videos. These are all of his videos. And I'm just going to do how to install the Optifine. Um, like how to install Optifine for Minecraft. And it's opening the stream. Here we go. Let's watch this. He has a 5,000 um, subscribers. I, I'm 4,500 subscribers. He makes great um, tutorials. And he's just going to explain how to install Optifine. So, yeah, we don't really need to see that. But So, I will stop it. And we get this entire video um, set up. Alright, stop. Okay. And now we're, we're going to switch back to our computer, and I'm going to show you guys how to file share from your computer to the Raspberry Pi. Alright guys, so the final part of this tutorial is, um, like doing Windows, it's just, it just says SMB on the Raspberry Pi, by sharing your Windows folders, like, in, like your Windows media to the Raspberry Pi. But, before we do that, I'm going to show you a little tip. So, um, this, or like a little trick or whatever, a lot of people already know this. So this only works in Chrome, so we're going to op open up to Google Chrome. Um, just I have a bookmark right here for the Chrome Web Store. I'll, I'll leave a link, but it's easy to get to. You just type in uh, like Google Chrome extensions, and then right here, it's going to same website, like exact same website shows up. 
So here we are. So now I'm going to type in XBMC or just keywords like that. Not apps, but extensions. Because th this is like a little thing that you can use to play to your X, uh, to play to your Raspberry Pi. So I like this one. I've used this before. So I'm going to use this extension, play to XBMC. Add it free. Add. And it, this is very useful. Uh, so now it's useful for really YouTube. So let's open up to another tab, YouTube.com. And uh, I watch a lot of Let's Play content by Achieve Hunter, which is a subdivision of Rooster Teeth. So I'm just going to open up to this, and I'm going to do like a little cam here between the Raspberry Pi and the computer. But this is just, so it, let's just say you're watching on your computer, and you're like, okay, I'm like right in front of my TV, I just want to play to my Raspberry Pi. So let's just open up the video. You know what Gina did in pretend is cheating oh, on me, well, we so I want her to know first. how it feels. Good idea. Just finish this I mean, I brought a friend to help me with this prank. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go to the extension. We're going to go up oh, to, here's the settings, in case you didn't see that. Settings, uh, IP address, and it's you type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, 192.168.0.13. Port, as, as you recall from the video, oh, I'm not sure if you guys could see that, but my port was 80. I'm just going to hit save, back, and so now I'm on the YouTube video, I can, let me turn on my camera actually. Alright, so now I'm just going to hit play now, and right now, like, I'm going to put, I'm going to edit it in, it's opening up the stream on the TV from YouTube to the computer, wire, or from YouTube on your computer to the Raspberry Pi. And the video just loaded up. Alright. Turned off my camera there. Let me just stop the video from playing this. Okay. So, that's that. And I'm just going to hit the stop. Well, I could have actually hit the stop button. That was pretty stupid of me. But, alright. So now I'm going to show you how to do Windows File Share. X out that. So, before we begin, I'm going to show you my sharing settings. This is like, this is where you can improve your knowledge on networking, or just like little things if you're a beginner. I'm, I'm beginner to intermediate. I'm going to go to my, I'm going to go to this. Open network and sharing. Change advanced sharing settings. Okay, just maximize this. Like, just like note down my settings. Turn on network discovery, turn on file and printer sharing, turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. This is actually kind of important because whenever you share your folder to the Raspberry Pi, and let's say you don't like a name of a folder, this allows you to change the name from your Raspberry Pi. Media streaming is off. Of course, this may differ. This is where your tinkering comes in. Like, you can test out different things, but I find this is what works for me best. And I have enabled sharing for this. If password protecting is on, turn on password protected sharing. Then whenever I switch back to the Raspberry Pi and try to access the files, I'm going to have to use the username and password of admin. And I have I don't have a password on admin. So I just have password protected sharing turned off. If I had it turned on, then I would need to set a password. And, um, and then next, just allow Windows to manage on group connections. This makes it easier for this for sharing and in general. So that's that. We were under homework network or homework work. So those are my settings, and th that's actually what I feel like a lot of videos or tutorials didn't show. And that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video for file sharing, because everything else is pretty simple. So close out that. Uh, now we're gonna we're gonna share some files. So I already have some files prepared. So Windows, music. Uh, I wanna. Th these are my music files. This is the Heist by Macklemore. I've decided I'm gonna share this. Okay, so I'm going to click on the heist, right click, share with specific people, everyone, add, you can do read, read, write, I'm just going to put read, write, and share, 
and then now we're done. Now that's been shared. And now I'm also going to share some pictures. Uh, these, so these pictures are like backgrounds that I keep on my computer. That like they just run the background. It's pictures of football. And so I'm just going to share them with my Pi. Right click, share with specific people. Everyone, add, read and write, share, done. So now we just shared that. I don't have any videos to share really. So I'm going to X out that. Um, so now I'm just going to show this. This kind of, not really that important, but start, computer, right click, properties. Just, uh, the work group name, mine's work group, that's Windows default. Whenever, whenever I'm going to switch back to the Raspberry Pi, it's just important to know. So that's just my work group name. And uh, no, I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to switch back to the Raspberry Pi. This last part, I'm just going to show how to access files. And, um, and uh, yeah, that's it. And then the video, and then Troy will be done. Alright guys, for the last part of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access the shared files from your computer. So, if I recall, the shared files were pictures and I think music. So let's start with our music. We're going to scroll over to music. We're going to go to files. Add music. Not music add-ons. Add music. Browse. Windows Network. Hit enter. And down here, it's searching for it. And it found my work group, which is work group. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure I am Nikhil, okay, give me a second guys, let me just check what my computer name is. Alright, I am Nikhil PC, users, admin, and I, what are we, we're in music right now, so I'm going to go to music, and the album was the heist, and here we go, here's the heist. Click on it. Okay, once I've clicked on that, I'm just gonna click on OK. OK. And I added the music stores. Right here. It says the heist. Alright. Uh, zoom in on that a little. I think that's good enough. Okay. So, let's listen to uh, Macklemore. Uh, CD. Alright, it's loading information. It's gonna parse it a little. Okay, here we go. Thrift shop. Hey, Can we go what? 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 Alright. So, we uh, shared our. We successfully shared music from our computer to the Raspberry Pi. Alright, let me just stop that. Alright, now I'm gonna show you how to share the pictures. Same process. So we're going to go over to pictures, I'm just going to click on pictures, add pictures, browse, windows network, work group, Nikhil PC as we just checked, users, admin, well users depends on like what user you are on your computer, but I'm, I'm admin because I have full power, <laughs> I'm admin and uh, I'm sharing pictures and these are the background pictures that I have on my computer. So click OK, add them in, and uh, I use these pictures as the background of my computer. They slide through, they slideshow through. It's just my favorite NFL players, Ma mainly quarterbacks. But yeah, so start, and this is coming from my computer. Oh yeah, favorite quarterback right here. As you can see. Shout out to that face, right? Okay. Alright, and uh, this is the end of the video. Um, that And that is how to share from your computer to your Raspberry Pi, as seen. And it's not that hard, you just, like, you don't have to go through all those steps again, you just can access it. It's, and it's not taking up that much memory on your Pi, because your computer has to be on to access these files, but it's just simple network sharing. 
like it, it's not gonna take up any memory on your pie so uh thanks for watching uh please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i will be uploading more raspberry pi tutorials based on what you guys comment on what you guys want so thanks for watching like and subscribe